Google. Uh, so my name's Josh, as you already know, I'm a course careers instructor and a YouTuber. And we have Charles here, who is a recent graduate of the course careers IT program. And he actually got a job recently. So thank you so much for joining us today in the interview. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, really appreciate it. Before we get started, do you have any socials that you want to share, like a LinkedIn or, or YouTube or anything like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a, I have my LinkedIn and uh, I'm actually starting my YouTube channel pretty soon. Oh, nice, nice. And uh, cool. yeah. So um, how did you actually hear about the Course Careers course? Like, where did you first see it? Uh, so I heard about Course Careers um, back when they were just doing the tech sales. I've heard about that from a couple people. Funny enough, I was actually following you before I even knew you were doing the oh. program. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And yeah, so, and then when it was announced that it was the IT program and that it was you, I was like, oh, well, that actually seems like a good fit. I'd be, you know, definitely something I wanted to oh, check shoot. out. And, you know, it was all good timing because uh, I was trying to get into another IT boot camp and I was waiting on that one. So I had some time in between. And also, I really wanted to get a new job for the new year. So it was, it was all good timing. Nice. And then before you actually started, like, what were you, what was your previous job? Yeah. So I was, uh, I was in public safety for like the past like seven years. Oh, nice. And so not, nothing really directly relevant to tech, but, uh, you know, I just knew I was always interested and I've been, you know, doing some like research and some studying prior, but. Yeah, like, you know, this program definitely helped me make that plunge. So how long did it take you, like, once you um, started the course to completion, about how long would you say that took you to finish? Well, it's funny because, so when I first started it, I did I bought it right before I went on vacation. Majority of those two weeks going through it, redoing the labs over and over. Oh, nice. And, uh, you know, updating, like, you know, setting up the portfolio, updating, like, my resume and all that stuff. So I was basically done with the program within those, like, two weeks, basically. Oh, but, damn. you know, like, yeah, I just, I felt like, I don't know, I just felt so prepared after that that I just went in and just started applying this stuff. <laughs> and then, you know, so even before I even got the certificate, I was like, no, nah, I, I know, you know, I, I got a, I got a grip on things, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on it. Yeah, even so, even before the certificate, I was I was feeling good about getting a job. So I started it like late October, early November, mm -hmm. and so I had like two weeks, and then I started applying. So basically, within like six weeks, I got a job after getting the program. Or it took like a I guess like a month. Oh, right? gotcha. Because I, okay. yeah, because I got a job offer mid December. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. That that's pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And then do you remember like about how many, did you use like, first of all, did you use the application tracking thing to kind of keep track of who you're applying to and like how many would you say that you applied to, do you think? Uh, yeah. So I used it for, I mean, I did a, did a whole bunch of websites. So mm -hmm. the bigger ones were able to like, you could track themselves, but as far as like all those other smaller websites, I wasn't going to keep going back and forth. And that's <laughs> what the tracker was for. Yeah. Like it was like, I used the tracker specifically for the ones like, that really stuck out that I knew would be a good fit or when I really wanted mm. and the ones that weren't in the big, weren't on the, uh, weren't on the big websites. As far as like how many applications, uh, I think it's like, <laughs> it's, I think it's like almost like 250. Oh dang. Okay. Like, yeah. Like I, I went for it. <laughs> like as soon as I, as soon as I had everything together, I was just like, yeah. And you know, also I had a willingness to move and you know, I wasn't, you know, wasn't worried. Like, I didn't mind starting from like the bottom, but uh, I actually worked out. Did you notice like you applied to a bunch and then suddenly like a bunch of people want to interview with you or kind of how did that, how did that go? Uh, yeah, it was, it's crazy. Cause um, it's, it's funny because like, thanks to your template and the, like the, uh, it actually got to be a lot of results. It's still giving me results. I'm still getting call back from it, <laughs> funny enough. But, uh, that's, fun. that's funny. Yeah. That kind of sucks sometimes because, like, if you get, like, a really good offer after you already started working, it kind of feels bad, you know. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, you know, I'm good where I'm at. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's kind of gotten good. this way. I'm glad to hear that. Um, do you remember like how many interviews you had with like different companies or you just kind of get the first one and you're good with that one or how did that go? Um, so I ended up doing about eight interviews, just Damn. about. 
you did eight. That's a lot of energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, it's funny. A couple of them I had to travel too. But, oh, you know, seriously. So, yeah. So I like I get off work, hit the road. <laughs> and that's, then, that's kind of exciting. You know, and then are you allowed to say, you don't have to say like the name, I guess, but what, what kind of company did you end up uh, accepting position with? I got recruited through a staffing agency and the staffing agency works uh, with Home Depot. Okay. Oh, so, nice. uh, so I'm part of their IT team now. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's, that's kind of cool. You, again, you don't have to answer this, but um, did you, did you negotiate your salary at all? And like, how much did you end up getting for the position you, you accepted? Yeah, actually, what they offered was pretty much the range that it's pretty much what I was looking for, like pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, especially, well, it's funny because compared to the more local jobs around, there were bigger companies that were, you know, interviewing for, but they were offering like much less pay. And I wasn't, damn, really? I, I really couldn't do that. So this kind of, this came around at the right time, not to mention, uh, you know, this one was, even though it's, it's a contract job, but they're also offering benefits and, uh, and it's remote. So, oh, that's that, like, pretty, oh, damn, you got a remote one. Yeah. Nice. So it was, it was pretty good. And, um, so yeah, I'm starting off 19, uh, an hour. And then the, uh, the plan is within the next few months, uh, be part of Home Depot full time and, you know, get a bump up. That's so good, actually. Um, it's, it's kind of, I feel it's harder ish for your first job to be remote, um, but you got yeah. a remote one. This is like so good actually. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I was, I was really surprised and it's kind of crazy that so many other places were offering lower and they wanted me on site and I was like, wow, that's yeah. Nah, dog. I'm yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Did you start working already or are you kind of still in the onboarding ish phase? Um, actually yeah, I started last week. Yeah, I started last week. Cool, cool. Um, was, there, was there any like particular part of the course that you found particularly helpful in your in your situation? Whether it's not like the interviewing section or like the applying to jobs or like, any particular part that you might recommend future people to pay attention to? Um, yeah, I mean, like all the labs ended up being relevant. Uh, so as far as like understanding uh, the usual commands you would use and how you would approach troubleshooting also you know the stuff with the active directory and the ticketing system yeah like it all it all actually was relevant and was, <laughs> you know, helped me with my interviews that's good to hear oh yeah i meant to ask about the interview um did did they how was that process did they throw anything at you that's like super out of left field or was it pretty smooth or how did you feel about it uh a majority of the interviews i felt good uh, most of them weren't too technical. Like a lot of them were just really making sure that I had the right mindset, I guess, when it came to dealing with people. Gotcha. Like I, I felt pretty good about, you know, most of the interviews. So that's good. Good to hear. And then this isn't necessarily for course careers, but just anyone who, you know, maybe they're working in a different industry and they're trying to get into IT. Do you have any kind of advice for them coming from someone who who's doing something completely different and you you just managed to move into IT in like a month and a half? Any kind of advice for someone who might want to follow in your footsteps? I'd say just, uh, yeah, just focus, uh, you know, be persistent. Um, actually, I have, so what, there was one thing I noticed while I was interviewing. So mm -hmm. I was I was interviewing with a few like small businesses and some like doctor's offices and stuff like that. So one tip I would give for people if they want to expand a portfolio, I would actually have them look into uh, virtualizing servers or upgrading servers because mm. there's a lot of businesses that are still using uh, Windows 2012 and that's going to and Microsoft is going to stop supporting that in October, I think. Mm. So uh. one thing I would I would like look into is like if you know if you are trying to be like a field technician or a technology specialist or something like that something you know something in a smaller business i would i would put that on a portfolio so you can go in there and say hey i can upgrade your servers i can put you in the cloud that would be a really good selling point i think especially if you're in the more rural areas you know yeah that's a great advice actually and maybe i'll make some labs about that <laughs> yeah that, that'd be cool just like migrating, migrating server 2012 into like whatever the newer one is kind of thing. Right. Yeah. 
Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. I do want to say super good job on what you did. It's not really easy to, I mean, regardless of a course or anything to change your career in a month and a half or you know, two months is really crazy. So I just want to say good job with that. You probably put in a lot of work. So that's really, really cool. And yeah, I think I appreciate that. I mean, I, I mean, I feel like I should thank you, you know, you definitely gave me <laughs> that, like that motivation and the information and the, you know, you de you definitely like influenced me on uh trying to like make a change for myself and you know and i i just i you know i was like i have to get something new by the by the year and uh and i pulled it off you know so yeah amazingly know, I, I well it. <laughs> oh yeah no problem thank you by the way uh for the the recognition and stuff but um yeah that's that's very impressive i hope this inspires uh, a lot of people because you can definitely it was probably like a lot of work but you you did it in the end and i feel like you know it's possible to change your career like relatively quickly and and yeah that's very yeah. cool do you have any like uh plans for the future like getting into like security or more like system engineering or any thoughts on that um yeah i see a lot of options um i would love to just you know just build up more on the skills i have and more the experience i have you know get a few system admin jobs you know stack a couple of them up that'd be cool um sure. I'm I'm looking a little bit into cybersecurity. I like admittedly I need to like get familiarize myself more with networking. That's definitely yeah. something like I'm trying to, you know, still study up on and but uh yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I see I'm I feel like I'm in a good place with the company I'm at, so I could definitely see, you know, room for growth there. So yeah, for sure. It's really it's really nice because when you're working somewhere, you can kind of look at the different technology that's around you. Um, like, you know, server 2019 or mobile device management or whatever. And then a lot of the time you can just kind of pick one of those and get really good at it and then get another job that pays way more if you wanted to kind of focusing on that technology. So it's like really, right. it's really good to start working because you can kind of, you know, get exposure to a bunch of different stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, I guess that wraps it up. Do you have any, like, any final words for anyone watching? Anything like this? Uh, no, not, not really. Um, yeah, if you, I guess if somebody, you know, needed some more advice, they could reach out to me on LinkedIn and, uh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I'll be sure to post that. And yeah, seriously, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to interview for everybody. So thanks again.